Hey guys, so this video is concerned with the connection of PostgreSQL database. So let's start. First of all, let me show you how much project is already being written by me. So as you can see, this is a basic Django project which contains a user profile database where we take basic information from the user like email, password and image and then display it on the web page. Let me show you the web page. Alright, so this is the web page. Um, so by default, this project is using a SQLite 3 database, which is used in Django. But now we have to connect a Postgres SQL database instead of SQLite 3 database. So let's refer a blog by StudyGyan, which has given all the code which we need in a very detailed manner. Alright, so this is so this is the blog. So before starting, I would like to tell you guys that you should have installed on your system Django and and you should also have set up a PostgreSQL database server which should be installed and running. So let's first create a database in PostgreSQL by typing some commands in the terminal. Let me open my terminal. So the first command which we have to type is we have to set up a connection to our database by using this command let me copy it and paste that okay so here postgres is the is the owner of the of the postgres sql account and here i have to enter the password you guys have to enter your password all right so after that uh, First of all, let's see the existing database by typing this command backslash list and you can see we have eight database currently like elevator system event right. Uh, if you are using it for the first time, you won't be having any database. Uh, let's create a new database. So for creating a new database, let's copy this command. Create database db test. So here the name of our database is db test. We have to put a semicolon. Let me do that again. Okay, so we have successfully created a database. Now, first of all, let's check if our database has been created. Okay, so now we have nine database, and as you can see, we have a DB test database. All right, so we have set up our database. Um, now let's see what else is required now we have to install this package psycho pg2 binary let me open my code first of all break the server and type this command let us wait okay so requirement already satisfied because this because this module is already installed on my system but you guys can install it uh, let's see what we have to do after after that now now what happens is that we have some code written in our settings.py which connects our django project to sqlite 3 so first of all we have to remove that code like this and now we have to enter this code all right so here we have to enter a database name which is db test as i showed you earlier you have to enter your username which is postgres and you have to enter your database password so here i am entering my password you guys have to enter your password all right now let's save this data okay so what happens is that as we have changed the database all our previous data will be deleted so now we have to again do the migrations like mentioned here. So let's copy this code python manage.py make migrations. And after the migrations we have to migrate. Okay, it's applying all the migrations. Let us also create a super user so that we can add data. Okay. 
okay let's name the super user as admin uh, we can enter any email address uh, is not important let us enter a password which we can easily remember and bypass it okay we have now successfully created a super user now let's run the server okay so we have successfully run the server um let me refresh this site this is the previous data and now we and now we are having nothing in our database currently uh, this is because uh, the previous data was stored in the sql lite 3 database but now we have connected to the postgres sql database so let's add some data in the admin panel uh, let me enter my username which was admin and my password okay so let's add a user profile suppose name is user1 phone number is this email is this pass1 as password and let's choose an image um all right now let's save and our user object has been successfully saved now let's refresh the page and as you can see uh, we have displayed our data here which means that we have also saved it in the postgresql database so we have successfully connected our django project to the postgresql database and this marks the end of the video